Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be talking about crash crashes on your iOS apps and I'm going to show you the free stuff you get with Apple to find out how much your app is crashing. Well, the publicly available stuff, not the extra stuff you can do to spy on your users, just the public stuff. Find out how much times your app is crashing and where in your source code your app is crashing for. Now, it won't be a full comprehensive this spot, I did this, that and the other because we don't spy on our users over here. We just uh, get the reports you can get. You can install third party software and you can even monitor it yourself, send bug reports over to your server and install that kind of stuff. But for now, this is just the free stuff you get with Apple, iOS, Xcode, all that kind of stuff. So first up, I'm gonna jump into App Store Connect. Whoa, it's like it's almost already ready. And if you go into App Analytics, that section right there, you will see on the right, 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 right column, crashes for this 30 day time period. So I see two crashes for this app over here, one crash for that app over there, and eight crashes. So that is a lot of crashes over here. Now you don't know which versions the app has crashed on. You can limit it over by specifying the time period and all that stuff, but all you know, that's how many crashes are happening. So I think the app I wanna concentrate on is my treatment pad app, and that one's got eight crashes in a month, which is too much for me. Not good. So I fire up Xcode like that. And if you go into Windows Organizer, look at this tab over here. It says crashes. It's amazing. So right there on the left, you choose which version of the app you want to do. If you've got a beta release or an app store release, I'm checking out the app store release and it tells you all the various versions that you submitted to the Apple store. So I'm going to go to my latest one and just there, right there, I see three crashes on my screen and what's great is when you click on it it tells you the class that's crashed the function that's crashed and even the line of code that's crashed so there's the call stack right there now again it's not it's not one of these crash reports that tells you the user did this that and the other and this is how they crashed it's just purely the line of code the call stack which is good enough for me so i'm going to click this button here open in project and i'm going to browse for my project and open it up and just like that, Xcode takes you to the exact line of code where the crash happened. So no, if you are releasing your app, have version control because what you'd want to do is check out the branch that conforms to the release. You're trying to find out what the issue is. So when it goes to that line of code, it is the line of code that's been submitted to the App Store. Hopefully that is understandable. Right there, I can see a crash red line there. And I... I'm not really sure why this crash happened. It's never happened to me. I can't reproduce this. You can try to reproduce it or if it clocks on all that stuff. So what I think it could be is maybe it's a null check. So I'm just gonna put a question mark here, just like that, added a little null check. And I'm gonna mark that as done for today. <laughs> next up, I'm gonna go to the next crash. Again, opening project, boom, straight to the line of code. And again, this looks like also it could be a null check. So yeah, I'm hardening the code with null checks. And in Swift, if you don't know, it's just a question mark. Next up is this one. Again, open it up in the project. And this one, potentially, maybe the asset play placeholder could be null because I'm doing a force unwrap with the exclamation point over there. So exclamation marks, I'm just gonna add it over here. If collection is null or is null. Yeah, I've just added some null checks to my project, three of them, and hopefully that would have fixed the crash. Does the project compile? Thought I can get away with it. Ah, oh, I wrote null instead of nil. So in Swift, of course, it's called nil, not null. Null is C++ terminology, all that kind of stuff. So we've just compiled our code. It is completely runnable. Of course, run the app on the phone, make sure it works, do all that kind of stuff. But yeah, straight up, look at this, amazing. Xcode right there. You can go through all the releases, so my past releases, downloading crash logs, no crash logs in that one. So, you know, I didn't modify that function for the latest release, but maybe someone used it in a way that I hadn't tested it for. For example, closing the app, resuming it from sleep, all this kind of nonsense that could happen that you will hopefully never run across because your apps will be crash free. All right, that was it. Xcode crash reports straight out of the box, easy as. Let me know what kind of crash reporting software you guys use. I am gonna try sticking this year, 2020, to continue to not spy on my users. In my apps, I have no, no 
third-party software. It's just purely the stuff that I use. No contact into the servers, just only Apple when they want to do an in-app purchase. That's my mantra for this year. So I'm going to avoid anything that sends anything to Google and all that kind of stuff. But let me know what kind of crash reports you guys do and all that stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show.